their life could be mundane, but they choose to be, you know, heroic and superheroes. And now all of a sudden, um, I guess we're in a situation where it seems like a lot of superhero movies took this path where so much has happened or when they do their super things, there's so much residual damage that now everybody wants to go, well, is it worth it having these people that can do all those things because they they damage a lot of stuff that we got to rebuild. And I, I guess you could say they're good for the economy in that way, but then they're bad for, you know, people who have to continue to live in certain situations. So they find themselves in an interesting situation when we find them the next time. They're not allowed to be super. Lucius is easygoing, uh, kind of hard to rattle. Uh, he's um, a good friend. Uh, he... He seems to enjoy the fact that his powers are what they are and they enhance his uh, cool factor. Winston Dever, um, I said I met him somewhere, he gave me a card. They have a business that, and they're interested in finding a way to get supers back to legality. Uh, and of course, any super who likes being super would be interested in, you know, that proposition. So when Lucius meets him, they apparently know that he has this relationship with, you know, the other family. So it's kind of like, you know, hopefully you can bring them with you and we can talk about what's going on. And they come up with this plan to make supers palatable to the public again. The traditional thought of what a husband with three kids left to his own devices would be with the family uh, because the wife is outside the home now for a while doing something. She's off doing the breadwinning thing. And he thinks he knows what's been going on and he can do it, that he can get up and make breakfast and get kids off to school and do the laundry and change the baby and do all that stuff. You know, it sounds mundane and easy, but it's a much more difficult job than most people, most guys would think. Brad is a, a wonderful kind of visionary. Um, and I get the, the joy that he brings to what he's talking about, but I also appreciate the seriousness of what it all means in terms of where we fit in the animated sphere of what's come before and hopefully what will come after. Oh yeah, I'm excited that, that The Incredibles are back. I'm excited by the fact that, you know, we do know something that the family doesn't know. I mean, we know Jack-Jack has powers, they don't know. So it's great watching them discover it and figure it out and how that you know, changes the family dynamic and what's that's gonna be uh, for the future of this particular franchise. I'm just glad it's back and I know a lot of people are really happy that it's back also.